Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number 15 from the International GCSE, IGCSE, Cambridge, um, paper 2, variant 1, from May, June 2012. This question is about map scales and also map scales to do with length and area as well. So part 8 says um, the scale of a map is 1 to 500,000. So when they give you a scale, they always mean this is the scale in terms of the ratio of lengths to the map and real life. So this is something on the map, this is something in real life, and that's the ratio. So the thing, the thing on the map is 500,000 times bigger in reality. So one centimeter on the map would be 500,000 centimeters in real life, one meter on the map, 500,000 meters in real life, and so on. Okay, so everything is, is multiplied by 500,000 to give you its actual length. So it says the actual distance between two towns is 172 kilometers. Cal calculate the distance in centimeters between the two between the towns on the map. So of course, if we have if we know the real say map to real, we know that the real length is 172 kilometers. All right, and we want to find what the distance is on the map. Let's call the x. We know that the map scale is one to five hundred thousand to 500,000 okay now it's actually better for us to write this underneath and this on top let me just do that be better to write the unknown on top so I'll put 1 to 500,000 and x to 172 kilometers. So I know to find what x is, I have to divide 172 by 500,000. Okay, I have to divide it by 500,000. Okay, and this is going to give me my answer in kilometers. So to change that into meters, in centimeters, sorry, I have to multiply this by 100, uh, well, by 1,000 first. Why? Because that will change it from kilometers to meters. And then by 100, that will change it into centimeters because kilometers to meters to centimeters, you multiply by 1,000 to change it from kilometers to meters, and you, you multiply by 100 to change it from um, meters to centimeters. So it's like multiplying by 100,000 when you change units of uh, length. Okay, so the answer will be given by 172 multiplied by 100,000 that's what that's going to give us 100,000 okay yep divided by uh, 500,000 500,000 and that's going to give us our answer which is 34 34.4 centimeters on the map that will be the distance or the length of that road on the map Okay, or uh, well, that will be the distance between those two towns on the map, we can say. Then it says the area of a lake on the map is 12 centimeters squared. Calculate the actual area of the lake. So now we're dealing with um, map scales and area. Okay, so here we got to do something different. This is the scale referring to length. So when we're dealing with map scales and area, we have to think about um, you know, the squaring the ratio of the length to give us the ratio of the areas because they're similar figures. The the map and the uh, real, you know, the the real town or whatever, the real um, city or whatever, um, those are similar figures, you could say. The map is just a scaled down drawing of the actual, um, you know, the, the actual place. So they're similar figures. So the ratio of the lengths is 1 to 500,000. That means the ratio of the areas is basically the square of that. So the ratio of the areas is 1 to 500,000 all squared. Okay, so on the map we have x, the area. Um, we, know, we know the area on the, on the map. Okay, it's 12 centimeters squared. That's on the map. 12 centimeters squared. We want to find the real area. And we know the scale is 1 to 500,000. But the, the actual scale is 1 to 500,000 squared. That's what it is. All of this is squared because it's the ratio of the areas. 
Okay, so what we can say is x is going to be 12 times 500,000. This part has to be squared. It's like 500,000 over 1 all squared. Okay, it's like cross multiplying, you could say. All right, so that's 500,000 all squared. But that's going to give my answer in centimeters squared. We want the answer in kilometers squared. So I have to divide this. Now, how do we change from kilometers squared to centimeters squared? Well, we have to square these conversions. Okay, we have to square these conversions. If I'm changing from kilometers squared to meters squared, I don't multiply by 1,000. I multiply by 1,000 squared. If I change from meters squared to centimeters squared, I don't multiply by 100. I multiply by 100 squared. Okay, so I'm changing from kilometers squared to centimeters squared. I got to divide by 100,000 squared. Okay, because they're square units. And some people might not understand why. I'll just put the answer down first and then I'll explain why. So you got 12 multiplied by 500,000. Okay, so the 500,000 part has to be squared, not the 12 part, because that's already an area. Over, and then I'm, I'm putting 100,000. Okay, 100,000, and I'm squaring that. Why? To change it from centimeters squared into kilometers squared. So now this is going to be now in kilometers squared once I've divided by that 100,000. So that's going to give me 100,000 squared, sorry. That's going to give me 300 kilometers squared is the area of the lake, the actual area of the lake. Okay, so that's the answer to this question. Now, why is it, okay, you may ask, do you have to square the conversion? Let me just give you an example supposing I have for example a line and this line let's say this line is um, one meter long let's let's deal with meters to centimeters that's one meters long now that meter long is 100 centimeters and if I was to draw another line the same length and make this into like a square let's imagine this is a square it's not a very accurate square but just a sketch um, this length would also be one meter, so therefore this length would also be 100 centimeters. So if I think about what the area of this square is in terms of meters squared, and the area of this square is in terms of centimeters squared, well, the, in terms of meter squared, it's 1 times 1, which is 1. In terms of centimeters squared, it's going to be 100 times 100, which is 100 squared. I'll write it like this for now, 100 squared. That one meter squared is the same area, it's the same square as this 100 squared centimeter squared. So therefore, one meter squared is not 100 centimeter squared, but 100 squared centimeter squared. And you could even go further in terms of volume. If I make this into a cube, then I'll say one meters cubed is 100 cubed centimeters cubed. So for the units of area, you square the conversion that you normally use. So I know to change from centimeters to kilometers, I divide by 100, by, by 1,000, sorry. I divide by 1,000. Okay, um, sorry, from centimeters to kilometers, I divide by 100,000. So from centimeters squared to kilometers squared, I have to divide by 100,000 all squared. That's why I divide by 100,000 squared. And there's the answer to these two parts of the question. I hope that was clear. Thank you for watching. Other questions which are to deal with. Now, this, this topic, I'm going to um, include it in the playlist for this paper. Other questions that I answer from this paper will be uh, collected together in this playlist up here. Also, I'll include it under the playlist for uh, map scales. Um, I think for, for ratios, I'll put it under this playlist for ratios. And I'll also put it under the playlist for similarity as well, because the second part is related to similarity and ratios of areas and such. So I'll, I'll put it there also. Okay, and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.